Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Kevin Brookhauser, Google Apps Certified Trainer. Using Google Drive in the classroom can be really a big time saver for teachers, and it also helps improve the writing process. But there is one aspect of it that can uh, lead to some headaches, and that's managing all those files, making sure they're named correctly, and making sure they're all shared correctly. But if you use the script Doctopus, uh, this process becomes a lot more streamlined, a lot faster, and I'm gonna walk you through the process. This script was created by Andrew Stillman, and he's an amazing uh, programmer who helps teachers a lot. So here's the process. You want to first create a folder in Google Drive, and there's four steps here. The next step is to create a template, and that's a document uh, that you would want your students to write their uh, work on or uh, create their slides with. The next step is to create a roster, and that's a spreadsheet that has all of your student names, section numbers, and Google usernames, and then finally run the script Doctopus. So let's walk through those steps. First, we need to create a folder. So I'm in my drive file right now. I'm gonna go create folder, and I'm gonna call this guru assignment. And I'm just gonna click create. All right, so there's my assignment. Now next I wanna create a template. So I could just create a document in here and title that document whatever I want or, or put whatever content I want in that document that the students can use to help them with their project. What I'm gonna do is grab a document from the uh, Google Drive templates and I'm just gonna to go to drive.google.com slash templates and I'm gonna show you my favorite template. It's a template that I created, and you, you all can use it and find it. If you go to public templates, there it is, and if you search for the essay machine, I'm an English teacher, and so um, one of the things I try to instill in my students is a very organized, uh, formulaic style of writing to get them used to writing uh, by formula. And so I'm gonna click use this template under the essay machine. And what this does is it creates a very clear a method of writing a five paragraph essay, whether that be a literary analysis or what. And so I'm gonna retitle this, and I'm gonna call this Macbeth Essay Machine. Now I'm gonna go back to my drive, and I'm gonna find that file that I created, last modified, and I'm just gonna drag that into the Guru assignment. And so now in, in the Guru Assignment folder, I have Macbeth Essay Machine. So if we go back to the steps, create a folder, and we've created a template. And again, you don't need to use the template gallery to create a template. You can create any document you want that will serve as a template, and you'll be creating copies of that document for all of your students. Now the next step is to create a roster. To make a roster, just click Create and spreadsheet. And once you've already made one of these, you can just make multiple copies of these for every single assignment that you give. And uh, I've already got this in my clipboard. And if you see that in this roster, we've got uh, four columns. And we've got the first one is section number, the second one is first name, the, th the third one is last name, and then finally, uh, the last one is Google username. Um, you can title these however you want. You just want to make sure that you know which one is which. Um, have them titled in a way that you understand what uh, is underneath each of these titles. Uh, section number is optional. If you don't have section numbers or if it makes sense for them to be room numbers or period numbers, you can make them however you want. But for me, I use sections. So here, this would be all of my students. And then when I actually do this for real, these are just email accounts that I have access to. But when I use this for real, I put down email addresses of all of my students in my class and all of their names. 